We'll have more on that in the 6 o'clock broadcast. In local news, police officer Robert Barnes was found not guilty by a jury of his peers today. Barnes was on trial for the unlawful shooting of a minor while he was on duty. The incident occurred when the minor, a mutant, appeared to use her genetic power to attack Officer Barnes. This footage was deemed evidence enough to convince the jury of Barnes' innocence. I'm just glad I was able to defend myself that night, and I'm thankful that the American justice system has found me not guilty of these allegations. I look forward to returning to duty. Although the jury was unanimous, many experts in the field are dissatisfied with the outcome, claiming that the minor wasn't acting aggressively at all. The gene that causes mutation doesn't manifest until puberty. The child in this situation was not being aggressive, but rather scared of her ability and what was going on around her. My estimate, that she had no idea she even had mutant abilities, let alone knew how to control them. My thoughts are with her family at this time. While Dr. McCoy is a highly respected scientist and pro-mutant activist, this case has been closed and Officer Barnes has been returned to his position as a police officer in the community. More on that later on tonight. What do you make of that, Avalanche? Government's letting people go after they're caught killing mutants red-handed. That country is full of crap. They are more concerned with which celebrity became a woman, or arguing with each other about being offended by something stupid. <sighs> Can't argue that, mate. As for this cop, I'd have been less concerned with the jury, and more concerned with what would happen if the boss found out about this. Found out about what? Magneto, uh, didn't see you there. Avalanche and I, well, there's something you might want to see. The incident occurred when the miner, a mutant, appeared to use her genetic power to attack. Unacceptable. I warned them.